Well, I got to know Jeff early on uh, because he was a student athlete. And he arrived in the fall for cross country ahead of some of the other students by a week or two. And I got to know him right out of the blocks, if you will. And clearly I saw in him a lot of energy. Uh, he was a guy that kind of embraced life. And my guess was uh, that he would be a successful student here and do well in just about everything he might try. Well, and getting Jeff here to campus for just that first visit, um, it was immediate that he was a very bright young man, um, which is first and foremost what Center is looking for, that perfect match that can academically um, withstand the rigors here and, and be successful out of here. Um, but athletically, he was just the type of, of young man that you could tell was a scrapper type. He gave it everything he had. He finished hard towards the end. Um, that combination bodes well at a place like this. Jeff interning in NASA, uh, didn't surprise a lot of people. Um, you know, it was one of those things, well, of course Jeff got the internship with NASA uh, because that was just how people knew him. He was that kind of uh, guy and that successful already as an undergraduate. Um, and it really raised the bar for a lot of folks to think, okay, this guy's getting an internship with NASA, what can I do? You know, physics majors, a lot of times you think, do I, do I just have to go to graduate school in physics or can I do other things? And I think Jeff would be the prime example of somebody who was very good in physics, went on to get a master's degree in physics, but then said, I can do a lot of other things too. One of the things I think we've always done well at Center is to make students feel that it's okay to be smart. You know, that's something that you should never be ashamed of, to be inquisitive, to be curious, uh, to be an intellectual is okay. Uh, our faculty lead by example in that regard. Um, and I think we really help to, to set our students up for success by, by, by breaking that stereotype in a lot of ways. And Jeff is a terrific example of a student who was balanced. He was involved in athletics, he was involved in a fraternity, and he also excelled academically. In a lot of ways, he's, he's the ideal center student, uh, and now the ideal center graduate, um, who, who was involved in everything and still successful, but was never really ashamed of being smart. Uh, I'm of the opinion that our greatest challenge here is to prepare citizen leaders in all walks of life. And, and so the fact that Jeff has gone out uh, to accomplish some rather remarkable things in science, now in, in business, uh, I, I'm not surprised. Uh, in fact, he just is fulfilling what I think was an expectation that I might have had for him. I'm proud of him. I know he's worked hard and, and had a lot of success. Uh, Jeff's story is, is a tremendous one, uh, but it's one not just to be admired, but to one to be duplicated as well.